Welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the almighty Trucker Rudy show here this fine morning. We got a beautiful day out here again today. I hope you enjoyed yesterday's vlog where I went out there and took a few pictures of the sunset and all of that. That was absolutely beautiful right here in town. So, you know, just goes to show you that you don't always have to go out to a beautiful place or you know some scenic area or whatever just to get a nice sunset picture right so yeah now we're getting our day started we got our usual run it feels like Dryden Jackson Missouri we've done those quite a bit lately but that's okay a mile is a mile right that's what I always say you know it's all about getting the miles in I was just hoping to go out yesterday, but hey, June and July is usually the slow month here at Penners, so that's to be expected. And so that's why I'm taking a little bit of time off in July and I'm going to go camping. Because I want to enjoy summer too, right? Yep, that's right. Even here uh, in June we're going to go camping a couple of times yet. Oh yeah, we got some camping trips planned already. I just finished booking another trip this morning, so that's awesome. But we're looking forward to an exciting summer. I hope you guys are too. I really do hope that you guys are going to enjoy my uh, camping trips this summer. Because I'm excited. You know, for many, many years I've been a you know owner-operator, right? And so I never really put money aside or... You know, I didn't really have vacation time or anything like that, so couldn't really afford to go camping. And now we got vacation time here at the company because July 1st is going to be uh, one year that I've been a company driver. So as uh, soon as July 1st hits, I can start taking vacation time. So that's awesome. So I am definitely going to be saving that vacation time usually for uh, summer. So that way I can take the summer uh, a few weekends off and go camping. It's exactly what I'm going to do. Because that's what I enjoy doing. Going out there, camping, maybe get a few nice pictures along the way. But I do appreciate you guys tuning in for another show. We'll stick around for the rest of the day. We'll see what kind of goodies we can come up with today, right? Alrighty guys, we made it up to the uh, border basically just into Ontario. Uh, they have a rest area up here, so I decided to go ahead and pull me in here. And guess what? It is lunchtime. I'm getting hungry. I haven't had breakfast yet, right? So this is exactly what we're having. Look at that. Nice chicken Alfredo. So I'm starving, so let me have a bite to eat, and we'll hit the road again. Time to hit the road again. Yes, indeed it is. We spent our half an hour break here having us a bite to eat, and... Uh, just kind of relaxing for a couple of minutes because I finished eating before my half an hour was done. Meters. Turn right on Trans Canada so, yeah. Highway. Highway 17. Oh, look at that! There's a deer right there. I don't know if you guys, yeah, you should be able to see it right now, right there by the stop sign there, in the middle of the road there. <laughs> Get out of my way! We don't need to hit any more deer this week. Yikes. Yeah, you definitely want to keep an eye out for those bad boys. That's for sure. But let's get on here. Get on going. We still have two hours roughly to go before we get to... Continue uh, on this road for 191 kilometers. Before we get to uh, Dryden. And then uh, we got to do a trailer switch up there. And then get on going. Up to Jackson, Missouri. Yeah. Looks like there's a lot of, uh, I don't know, these, uh, I don't know what you call them, but these light white uh, fuzzes in the air. Not sure what is it like that uh, dandelion seeds or whatever it is. A lot of that white fluffy stuff in the air this week. So I guess if you have allergies, might be best to stay inside this week. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Anyways, 
we're enjoying our day so far I hope you guys are having a fantastic day as well just pulled into the tire shop here in Dryden Ontario let's see if we can get out of here now we're supposed to be able to swing our wide over here and supposed to be able to get around here but we'll see yeah the reason why we are in here is because uh, they changed that tire right that steer tire and so uh, I needed to get the wheel retorque I know I you're supposed to really get it done within 60 miles or whatever but I you know there really isn't any shop there might have been something in in Kenora but it's all off pad right so I figure it should be all right anyways but the company wants us to do that so uh, and I, I totally agree it needs to be done so we went in here and got it done they said all the wheel lock nuts were good but you know better safe than sorry right that's what they always say so yeah let's get out of here now let's go over to our customer and you'll pick up our loaded trailer hopefully it's loaded we're good to go we got to make a left turn here at this intersection anyways so we're just gonna stay right here in the center yeah in 600 meters let's see that guy wants to Grand turn Trunk Avenue highway 17 towards Manitoba oh I don't know where my GPS thinks I should make a u-turn but we gotta go down here anyways but so we got our wheel retorqued everything looks good cost me nine bucks now of course the company will be re reimbursing me for that but yeah we got it all done just finished picking up our trailer and now we are a couple of miles down the road yes indeed I am and I'm wondering what is this four wheeler trying to do looks like he's pulling it over yeah for some weird reason not 100% sure why but oh well anyways we are good to go we our load was loaded so we are happy about that now we have 1642 kilometers to go which in essence is just over a thousand miles so we're gonna attempt to do a few miles tonight speed warning well at least you know a few right so we'll see exactly how far we get tonight but I wouldn't be surprised if I go up to uh, like Cook Minnesota and call it a day but uh, that's not too bad but I am definitely enjoying this beautiful beautiful sunshine up here oh yeah this this is a hilly area that is for sure you definitely have to use your engine brakes up here otherwise JP is going I mean RJ is going to be screaming speed warning at me all day long right <laughs> yeah oh well I'm just you know glad that we got a load finally I lost a day but that's how it goes sometimes hopefully we can make it up in miles right but yeah we'll see I might push it up to uh, superior tonight but I doubt it I really do doubt it we'll keep our eyes open and see if we see any more bears up here today right you guys remember a couple of weeks ago when I came down here there's a couple of bears up here with uh, young ones well we sure as heck don't want to run over a bear today right normally they are slower anyway so you should be able to see them in advance but yeah deers they are very very fast so deer it's <laughs> it's just a matter of time when you're gonna run over one it's not if it's just a matter of time <laughs> you know I haven't shown you guys this uh, border crossing in a while and it well you know I figured why not show you guys this again this is the International uh, Falls border crossing crossing into Minnesota here in a minute you have to cross here where the railway track is I guess this side is made stronger than the other side so uh, 
So this side is made for heavy duty equipment, right? Like Crossing trains. Border. Entering Minnesota. That's Speed right. Reduced to half. Just entered Minnesota. So let's go see customs up here. Looks like we got one truck ahead of us. And then uh, we'll be uh, across the border again. All right, guys. I drove really, really late last night. So till about 11 o'clock. <clears throat> and uh, I drove all the way past Superior and all of that yet and so uh, <clears throat> because of all of that it was like a little bit after 11 that night by the time I uh, I finally parked it for the day so uh, I said you know what I'm just going straight to bed and I'm just trying to look up this location here see what this location is called it, Moaning, Wisconsin. Let me see if I can even show you guys right there. Moaning, Wisconsin or whatever. And it's the AMW is across the street. I'm not at the AMW. Let me just show you guys. I'm actually at a truck stop. So you guys can actually see. I'm not 100% sure what this one is even called. It's really got no name on this side. So... It used to be a holiday, but it no longer is, but anyhow, so uh, I wanted to get a past the scale there in Superior, just past Superior, and uh, it was showing on the app last night that it was closed, like it showed for the last hour, they've been closed, and with my luck, when I got up to the scale, they're open. I'm like, really, guys? So they rolled me over the scale, because you gotta remember, this week is DOT Blitz week, right? So they'll be doing a lot of inspections and stuff, but... Uh, they left me alone they really did I didn't have any issues with him they just rolled me over the plate and let me go so here we are had a good night's sleep now it's the next morning just close enough to show so I do appreciate you guys watching come back for more tomorrow so we'll see you then